One day, when my sister was a sophomore in high school, she came to ask my opinion about a freshman named Bo who had asked her to the homecoming dance. He was sweet and nice, but a little dorky, and she wasn't sure if she should say yes. <laughs> I wanted to encourage her to break out of her shell a little bit and branch out. It could be fun. It's not like they had to get married or anything. <laughs> Luckily, I was able to convince my strong-headed sister, and she reluctantly agreed, and they made plans to attend the dance together. Little did Bo know he would not only have to face overbearing parents while picking Chris up for the dance, but his true test would last all night, as he would have a protective older sister, older brother, and all their friends watching over them the entire night, <laughs> just waiting for him to try to make a move. Luckily, he prevailed, and they became official after a date to the movies, and quickly became inseparable. It's often hard to assume that a high school relationship is going to be resilient in the long run, but boy would you guys be wrong to doubt how stubborn these two can be when it comes to their convictions and their commitments. So, when these two started dating, Bo was 15 years old and somehow had the principles and wisdom of a distinguished gentleman. I think it's almost fitting that my younger brother beat me to this whole marriage thing because from day one he knew what he wanted and he wasn't going to let anyone tell him otherwise. You two are one of the most dedicated, loyal, and unconditionally loving couples I've ever known and you have been since the day we met Carissa. You're the model of a successful and trusting relationship and I know that you both have what it takes to maintain it. I really do. Carissa, your family is very proud of you and the person you've become. You are deeply loved. <clears throat> we know you will carry on. Excuse me. It's sweat. It's sweat. Guys. <laughs> we know you will carry on the tradition of being a strong, passionate woman, conquering any challenge life presents and achieving anything you set your mind to. We know your love and passion for Bo will continue to grow and deepen until, like your parents, you and Bo become an indivincible unit that your mom and I can simply refer to as our offspring unit. That's, that's kind of an inside joke, but... Chris and Bo get it, and Miranda. <laughs> Bo, I think it's traditional for the father of the bride to welcome the groom into the family, but you've been part of our family for so long we already consider you a member of our family, so I'm just going to say, it's about damn time you married her. <laughs> Year one started in 2012. You were a freshman and I was a sophomore in high school. You were the epitome of the perfect gentleman. In our second year of dating, I turned 16 and got my driver's license. You were the best passenger anyone could ask for, helping with navigation, watching for deer, and singing along to songs in the car. Year three was my senior year in high school. You always agreed to tag along with me whenever I had to do some minute task. I learned that you made every task, small or major, more enjoyable, and you make my life better by just being present in it. Year four was spent with a 500 mile distance between us. We learned very quickly how to be present and supportive in each other's lives. This was the year that I learned our relationship could survive all trials as long as we had each other and strong communication skills. This was also the year I knew I wanted to marry you. In year five, we started to build a life together. You moved downstate to start college, and we started swing dancing and making friends as a couple. We were both in college in year six, taking classes in our majors and trying to balance school, friends, and our relationship. After you dropped everything to care for me when I had the flu, I learned that you would always take care of me and make me a priority in your life, whether I was in sickness or in health. You finally turned 21 during year seven. <laughs> we were able to start exploring the city more and we moved into our first apartment together. I learned what our future would look like with lazy weekends, big brunches, and lots of laughter and popcorn filled movie nights. We both finished our final year of college during year eight. You supported me every single day. I learned that you would always be my number one supporter, and I can always depend on you. When you proposed during year eight, 
I learned that we would spend forever together. We have been together for nine years, and every single day you have and continue to make me smile. Whether it's dancing around the kitchen while cooking dinner, singing in the car, or brushing our teeth, I learned that you will always make me smile and feel loved. Over the past nine years, I have been learning all the things I love about you. So today, I promise to be all the things you are for me. Caring and kind, communicative, a source of joy, a person you can depend on, and patient, even if that one's a little difficult for me. <laughs> At times, not always. <laughs> I promise to make you smile every day, prioritize you above all else, and to always be your biggest supporter. I will always look for new things to love about you, and I will always love the person you grow to be. Over the past nine years, I've learned how to be your girlfriend, your best friend, your fiance, and today your bride. In this upcoming year, which is year number 10 for us, I am so excited to learn how to be your wife. When I think back to when we first started dating, I often forget that I was just 14 and you were just 15. <laughs> I had just gotten my braces off and you still had yours. <laughs> we couldn't drive and our parents had to cart us around on our first dates. I fell head over heels for you immediately. I thought maybe it was just a crush or that I was too young to feel that strongly for someone. I had no way of knowing back then that I would marry you, but as our relationship grew, I knew that we had something special. It seemed like everything else was changing as we grew up, but we were always constant. We've gotten through long distance and hard times together, and it has only ever gotten clearer that you're the one for me. We are both very stubborn people, and somewhere along the line, we both decided to dig our heels in and that we would be together no matter what. We learned that love takes patience, communication, and hard work. Through it all, we've grown stronger and laid a foundation for our relationship built from love and trust. I've known for so long now that I would marry you. I just can't imagine my life without you. So much of who I've grown to be as a person is because of you. You believe in me, and you inspire me every day to be the best that I can. As we grow old together, I will cherish each and every moment with you. When I'm an old man, I'll be yelling at kids and birds in our lawn, and you'll just laugh at me, and I'll forget whatever I was doing to come be with you, to hold your hand, and tell you I love you for the millionth time that day. I will always be there for you. I will be the one you can rely on when you need support and the one cheering you on as you accomplish more and more great things. When you just need someone to pack your lunch or hold you when you fall asleep, I will be there. I will always choose to love you through hard times and good times. I am honored to be the one you've chosen and I am so excited for the rest of our lives together. I know that I am where I am meant to be when I am with you. You are the love of my life, and I am so happy to be married. Today is just the start of a great adventure together. As you begin this adventure, remember, in dreams and in love, there's no such thing as impossibilities. Always dream big, and take the chances you need to to follow those dreams wherever they may lead. Always love big, and continue to grow the love and passion the two of you have for each other. Always remember your families are here for you, most important of all, always have fun. And by the power vested in me, it is with great honor and delight that I now declare you husband and wife. You may celebrate your union with a kiss. <laughs>